Well, hello, this is Rochelle, and thank you for joining me here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel. And I'm quickly doing a sort of unboxing of the Shadowcaster physical kit, because after my 1st of January unboxing, I did get the physical kit. Thank you again so much, um, Danielle, for sending that to me. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful, and I am now at a place where I'm not sure which one to use first. <laughs> So anyways, there's that. This devotional is one of the most challenging ones yet in that I honestly wasn't quite sure what this word shadow caster meant. Um, and so I read a few of the verses and understood uh, more or less that it means that we're looking ahead. Whatever we're seeing currently, God's glory currently, what's coming ahead is so much more than what we can um, imagine or dream. And that is the reason why we need to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Um, I'm journaling in 1, Corinth 1 Corinthians 2. I've decided on that one. And I kind of want to do this sticker sheet has just, you know, absolutely inspired me. And there's another... Um, sort of one of the journaling cards that I that I really love and so I'm going to take a plain color this is like a, a very dirty pink is the word I can think of it's a, a kind of pale pink that I'm using in the background and I'm just going to cover the entire page so art wise there really isn't uh, it's not rocket science I'm going to just cover the page with acrylic paint so if ever you want to use uh, a uh, primer or a sort of gesso gesso is also an acrylic primer um, to prime your page or to prepare your page or to make sure that your page doesn't bleed through uh, you can always use white or um, off-white depending on what your page color is and that will protect your page from bleed through for the most uh, depending on what other stuff you use but yes so for the art I really just covered the page with a this pale pink um, it's not even a pale pink it's it definitely is a sort of dirty pink <laughs> and I really love that color uh, so vintage pink let's call it vintage pink there we go <laughs> so we're looking towards Jesus we're looking towards what he has already done in our lives and the shadow that that costs in other words the indication that there is a presence um, in our lives. I took us my stencil and some black Versamark uh, ink. This is the Onyx black ink and I'm stenciling it or sponging it with a makeup sponge through the stencil. I'm turning the stencil. You must always remember that you're going to use a stencil front and back unless it's words because then the words will be upside down or um, wrong side in or however. And so that leaves me with this very contrasting color on top of this vintage pink. Um, and then I'm going to use some of the stickers and elements that are in the sticker sheet to just embellish those black leaves, um, add a pop of color to it. I am just absolutely loving these colors. They are gorgeous. So yes, for me, I think what the this shadow of the presence of God, the the indication of glory, the indication of that the best is yet to come. And this is what this verse in 1 Corinthians 2 says, um, is that the best is yet to come. We, we, we are as believers in a privileged position where we know that our eternal reward is heaven. Our eternal reward is eternity with God. And that's all because of the price uh, that Christ paid for us on the cross. So the cross is what... Is enough the cross is what that costs that shadow in our lives and then there is the sticker that's also say, saying that the best is yet to come and this hope of glory uh, a glimmer a glimpse of glory it's it's like your best day is just a shimmer of what is to what is to come so that is it's very exciting to know that I'm using these alpha tile stickers I tend to hoard them deluxe so I decided no more hoarding in 2024 <laughs> no more in 2024 okay good 
um, and I am determined to use up my stash. I do not want to have uh, boxes and boxes and boxes of things that I don't use. I want it to be um, used and so yes, I'm using my stash. And I'm, I'm, I'm writing out something that I read in the devotional that says everything here points to everything there. So it indicates that there is more. There, there is a place that's being prepared for us as believers. And we have to endure what's current so that we can get to what's ahead. And that's what the word says about Jesus and what he did at the cross too. He says um, that for the joy set before him, for the glory that was to come, he endured the current, the cross, the difficult, the not fun, the hard and challenging. So I want to encourage you today to endure your hard and you're challenging in whatever moment you're going through, it is momentarily. There is a big shadow that is caused, that showing that the best is yet to come, that the glory of the Lord is coming and um, we can be a part of that. It is such an exciting time for us. So thank you for joining me. Do check out the other girls and I'll see you again soon.